Welcome to Cadillac Postgame Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Tuesday night at City Field, the Mets were down 3-0 to R.A. Dickey and the Braves, but a Kevin Ploiecki home run in the seventh, a run in the eighth, and a Travis Tyrone walk-off hit in the bottom of the ninth lifted the Mets to a 4-3 win. Uh, it's an unbelievable feeling. Uh, I can't really say too much more than that. It feels good, you know. We go out there and drive the ball, just looking for something good to hit, you know. Those are just great stories. Those are memories that, you know, he'll have forever, no matter how long if he plays in the big leagues for the rest of his career or, or whatever happens. You know, he's he got a big hit to win a game. And, um, you know, when you, I've been a lot, of course, I spent a long time in AAA myself, so I know exactly what it's like to, to get, those chan get those opportunities. And for Travis, who's, you know, been a great soldier through it all. He just keeps going out and putting up numbers every year and finally getting an opportunity. And I think it's real cool that, uh, you know, we, we gave him that opportunity. Yeah, and Travis Tyrone, a September call up, always hit in the major, uh, minor leagues, excuse me, and uh, gets his first game winning RBI. It's been a struggle for, for Travis, and it was very good to see him come through with that game winning RBI. Was it was a single, I guess, over the left fielder's fa uh, head. Also, Ploiecki continues his hot hitting. He got the rally going. He was pinch run for by Lagaris, who scored the go ahead run. Ploiecki got two hits, hit his third home run, a two run shot. I mean, just consistency, really, just being able to apply, you know, what I've been working on for the past three years or so and, you know, seeing results, you know, and, and, and that hard work, you know, paying off. It could be the competition that's doing it. Um, I certainly know that Kevin went down with bound and determined to come back and play better than he did when he was here the first time, and he's done that on both sides of the ball. Um, and Travis is just, I know, I think Travis, and to be honest, um, Certainly the rest, the, some days off, uh, have helped. So, um, but together, they've, they've put up some nice numbers here in the last six weeks. Yeah, I mean, we, we work well together. Um, you know, I, I really don't know the exact answer, um, whether it be kind of giving each other a break here and there and feeling fresh or, or uh, whatnot. But, you know, we kind of feed off each other in a sense. And, uh, you know, it, it's good to see for, for both of us. Rafael Montero kept the Mets in the game for six, and then the bullpen took it from there. You know, I think that was the key, is that he gave up three three runs in the first two innings, but he stuck his nose in there, got through six, kept it close enough, and Ari Dickey made one mistake to Plawecki that got them close, and after that, the bullpen was outstanding. Uh, Smoker gave up a couple hits, but Robles probably had now back-to-back -back his two best outings. And Familia, of course, pitched the ninth and got the win. So the Mets have taken two of the first three from the Braves. Final home game of the year on Wednesday night, Robert Gazelman makes the start for the Mets against Sean Newcomb. Our coverage begins at 6 o'clock Wednesday night with Cadillac first pitch on SNY. That'll do it for Cadillac Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.